John Andrew here. We're going to go over wrist lock number two of the United Martial Arts Center and the system that we teach here. All right, there's lots of variations of all different types of wrist locks, different schools and different systems. Not saying that yours are stinky, just saying we have our own way of doing it and it does work. So pay attention and practice. So if we're doing our, our Sogo Joho Ryu, our, our, our Jiu Jitsu practice, number two lock is a cross grab lock. So I'm reaching for that pinky area. I'm going to reach all the way over, not his wrist and not his forearm, but his hand. My thumb is going to reach over and into the metacarpal bone right there. There's a pressure point just underneath that bone right there, and I'm just rubbing that a little bit. So when I execute this wrist lock, I'm going to go up and then support. We call this initial hand, the real hand that's actually doing the lock, the control hand. So up and over, and then this hand comes to support. Okay? So once again, I'm reaching over and reaching for that, that uh, pinky area, that metacarpal bone that's running strong, right there, running strong and along his hand and not his wrist. Rubbing that pressure point so my hand goes all the way across. I'm going to step out and over, and my support hand comes up, supports that lock. And I have wrist lock number two. Reach over, grabbing, get my pressure point, start turning up and in, up and in, up and in, and support. Boom. And this is what we want. We want this type of action where his hand is up, his arm is locked, his shoulder is locked. And he doesn't have a lot of options right now, okay? Because if he moves, I'm going to continue this rotation and snap it. It's an inward wrist direction towards his center. But it's not just turning in towards him, it's also turning in and torquing like a spiral. So I'm not just going this way, I'm kind of going in and towards him. Okay? I, I use his nose as a guide. I point my fingers towards his nose and in. Okay? If I reach over for this other hand, I'm grabbing that pinky area, my thumb goes in by that bone, I'm turning it, this is my control hand, this is my support hand. I'm locking everything up, wrist, elbow, shoulder, I'm looking at his nose, I'm going to continue this returning spiral towards the inside of his body, that's what we call an inner wrist twist, okay? So I would like him to lean over, but not lose focus on me. I want his hand up, so I have good control, because there are escapes for this lock, but these are the basic, the basic ways. So one more time on this side, reaching for the pinky, my thumb goes just below that pointer knuckle, turn and lock. Okay, I want to keep this in line, fingers up, looking at his face and nose, spinning in towards his center. Other side, grab for that pinky, my thumb goes by that metacarpal bone, turning, locking, and pressure. So this is wrist lock number two. I'm doing a cross grab on the hand. I'm reaching for the metacarpal bones by the pinky area. Do not grab the wrist or the arm. This is a wrist lock or wrist break. So my fingers reach over, my thumb goes at the edge of the point of finger where the knuckle is, right on the metacarpal bone, right there. There's a slight pressure point right there. And of course, you should always work on your grips and techniques. So it's a cross, grab here, don't over grab. Right there, let it fold in naturally. Fold in naturally, let your thumb go to the bone. And then I'm gonna start my rotation and my rotation and my rotation. Rot Rotation, rotation, rotation. So I got his fingers up, his arm is locked. I'm gonna use my other hand to support it, keeping his fingers up, and continue to point in towards his nose and around. I take my support hand away, and you can see a good grip over by the pointer finger and across by the pinkies. I have the pinky metacarpal bone right there. Cross, pressing in, down, and spiral. Okay, that is our number two lock. All right, so we're gonna show you this one more time. Our number two lock, our inward wrist twist. Inward wrist twist. So I'm gonna put a Sensei Salve right over here. So I'm grabbing those pinkies, the pinky metacarpal bone, sorry, right there. My thumb is going across. I start my lock with my control hand, my control hand, my control hand. When I feel that resistance, I'm gonna support it with the other hand. Now, just the one hand, I have that pressure point. Do you feel that? Yes, sir. Okay, try and turn your hand out of it. It hurts him, but I can feel that my thumb is starting to give a little bit, so that's why you always keep that support hand. 
And then we can add double the pressure. Now try and get out of it. Okay? Shouldn't be able to get out of it. Lock into your body. So turn, boom, fingers up. I always say towards their eyes, towards their nose, and then it spirals in. All right, so that's number two. And remember, wrist locks are technically wrist breaks, so if this guy tried to hurt you, don't just hold him there. Break! Yarrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr